everyone and welcome to another top 5 records video and another one in the series in which I'm taking a closer look at the full discography of Bob Dylan and I have arrived today at his fourth album Another Side of Bob Dylan and what I'm holding here is a Dutch pressing um, this is not the version I listened to for this series I listened to the mono reissue from the mono box which is an outstanding pressing. Um, yet I'm holding the other one because this is the first version of this album that I found. And Another Side of Bob Dylan is to me one of those albums of his that I often overlooked. As a matter of fact, the first time I heard it was on this vinyl um, that I bought a couple of years ago. And <clears throat> it didn't really impress me back then. I was very much into Bob Dylan, but from his early work I mostly listened to the free wheeling and then I skipped on to bring it on back home bring it all back home uh, highway 61 blonde on blonde and other 70s stuff this was one of those albums that I I never really got into so I also didn't really look forward to listening to it in the chronologically in the, in the, in the chronological order of this these these series of videos and to be quite frank I am surprised I really am surprised um this album has a lot more to offer and why I remembered it as being somewhat of a not a bad album not a bad album I remembered it mostly as a neglectable undefinable album I think listening to it in the chronological order really made it stand out um, not as amongst the top of his works but the um, the difference between the times they are changing is rather significant the times they are changing is so much more political it is a political Dylan album he is a protest singer on that album and somehow although this period in my mind is always one of a uh, somewhat of a protest singer uh, um, this is not a protest album this is really a folk album by Bob Dylan and to have one now his first album also has that but it's, he's mostly telling stories of things that happened to him, stories he heard, stories about his emotions. It's intimate. It's a young man's journey, much more than an angry young man. Um, and there are actually a lot of very good songs here. Opening with All I Really Want to Do, that's, that's a very good song. Black Crow Blues, that's good. Chimes of Freedom, I Shall Be Free. <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, I'm a bit ill. Um... Uh, uh, my Black Pages, Motorcycle Nightmare, It Ain't Me Babe. These are all very, very good songs. Now, it's all still in the old-fashioned Dylan tradition of him strumming guitar. There's one song in which he plays the uh, piano and his voice. So it's not one of those diverse, crazy albums or the, the, um, the progressive albums like Things He Did Later On. But there are interesting songs. He sings them good and he also sings them to me, it's much more like a troubadour experience. There's a song in here in which he tells the story of uh, sleeping over at a farm and he has to prom uh, with a girl, but he has to promise his father that he's not gonna do anything to his daughter and that he's gonna milk the cows in the morning. And uh, uh, how the man chases him away, calling him a, a, a communist bastard and so all sorts of things. It's, it gives me an insight into the, the world and the pleasures of Bob Dylan. Um, pleasures, yeah, and uh, adventures somewhat. I really, really started to reevaluate this album on a second and good listen. And also, the mono one is so, so good. The full sound of his voice. This is not something to be listened to in stereo. I'm, I'm, I might do a video on that mono versus stereo, but I would not even include this one as one of the first albums to do that. Although, it really makes it come to life more and also you gotta sit for this you gotta you gotta sit in front of it the the, the lyrics are, are the thing to notice I mean Bob Dylan mostly gets credits for his lyrics and rather embellished from time to time because I think he also has a beautiful uh, beautiful melodies his songs are much more than just the lyrics there is a beautiful melodic quality to them. There is something to the strumming. And there is also something to the atmosphere here he creates. And all right, the atmosphere on here, it's its really good. It's really all right. Um, but this is uh, almost like 
I'm gonna compare it to 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 rap or hip hop. That uh, if you're not focused on the lyrics, you're gonna really miss out on what this uh, album has to tell. So this for me has been somewhat of a surprise doing this series. I like it. I like it a lot. Another side of Bob Dylan is a good album. So what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.